I now have a canal at the bottom of my garden. <laughs> oh my days. Have a sniff of that. Get off there. Get off there. Get off there. Show up yourself to that ground bait. Come back in three hours after the swans eat it all. It's mine. <laughs> but yours mine. Right, keep your hands off. It's always been a dream when I've been fishing on the opposite bank to see people with garden pegs and think they've got it right. That's the one that is. And now the time has come where I've got my own garden peg. So it's in a bit of a mess at the moment. I'm gonna show you around, guys. We've got a big journey ahead of us and I'm gonna need your help. Always thinking, if I had my own garden peg, I'd rake it, I'd bait it, I'd do this and I'd do that. Well, now's the time. We have got our own garden peg. <laughs> so let me show you the fishing area. So we've got these two concrete blocks. Uh, the first one, as you can see, is on a bit of concrete, so that's not sunken. However, this one is uh, just on the canal bed, so it's slowly sinking in. And this here is pretty much the fishing area. So as you can see, the floor needs sorting. So I think this here, I might get a bit of decking in and this bush I might get rid of and I can go a bit further in as well because I've got until like where that other fence is over there. So a lot of work, but first off, I wanna get the fishing sorted and I wanna find out what's in here. I have no idea what's in here. It's not that huge of a stretch. So if there is fish here, I think I'm gonna find out pretty quickly. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that there are some pike in here. I think I'm gonna make this fishing in my garden a bit of a series and kind of keep you updated how I'm going. I'm gonna be doing some underwater filming. The dream is to get some pike, taking some baits underwater. Uh, even without a line on, just to find out if there's pike here and see how they react around baits. First things first, I'm going to rake the swim. A boat went by about 10 minutes ago, I think, so I might just leave it another 10 minutes, let it settle. And I'm gonna film what it's like currently uh, with the GoPro, and then I'm gonna rake it, leave it a little bit, and then show you again what it's like afterwards. And then we're gonna get fishing and see if I can get my first fish from my garden peg. Right, well, let's have a look and see what the bottom of the canal's like. I was speaking to the neighbor about what I was doing and he popped his head over the fence and said, oh, I got what you need if you want to rate the swim on a rope. What a legend. Thanks, Chris. So, rake, commence. Oh, oh my days. There's a lot of weed on there. I didn't expect that much. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to get my hands dirty on this one. I'm not going to throw it as far this time. Ooh. Ooh. Does this count as my first fish? Nah. It takes a while. It's raking. Oh, not that bad. Hardly anything on it anymore. Okay. Let's go make a cup of tea come back in 15 minutes and film what it's like at the bottom. Obviously now there'll be no weed at all. Come on. Cup of tea. Normally I hate it when people make tea in fishing films. And now look at me, making tea in fishing films. Oh, I tell ya. Do you reckon I'm gonna catch my first fish today? I've just raked it, haven't I? Throw some bait in. Maybe leave it. Ooh, I don't know. I'll throw some bait in and I'll just 
I'll just fish because I've been waiting to fish for ages. Okay, tea, bait, fish, done. Bit controversial, yeah? But I have my tea black. So I need your help. If I'm gonna be baiting up a lot, right, I can't be spending nine pounds 75 a go on a tub like that. So please put cheap bait in bulk in the comments. Right, so this has got, uh, doesn't actually say what it's got. Oh yeah, right, here we go, you ready? So on today's menu, we have a crushed hemp mixed particle and a selection of active enhancers and stimulants. Okay, okay, big boy. Oh yeah. Have a sniff of that. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's nine pounds seventy-five. Don't want to spill any. Jeez. That'll do for now, because I want to have a session, so I don't want to bait it up too much but I want to have, um, I'm going to bait it up hard after I finish today. Okay, so let's see the fruits of my raking and hopefully see we, we see a beautifully clear water. Sure. Baiting. Okay, so we're going to bait. Bait there. Oh, look at that cloud in the water from it. I'm only going to throw in the two balls because I don't want to overdo it. Three balls I did. I don't want to overdo it because we're on a canal. They're going to be like, what's this? What's this? What's this that you've just thrown in here? But overnight, yeah, they're going to get it in there. Got me tackle box there. Got me rod. No, look at these swans now. I bet they're going to eat that ground bait. I'll have to smash them in the face. So finally, after raking and baiting, I love that. Yeah, I'm just going to rake and bait. All right, yeah. <laughs> Five wraps. I'm now going to fish for the first time. I've got my little tackle box here. Normally, I just keep my stuff in a plastic bag, but I thought, no. And I've got a little tub of maggots. So hook bait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Might have to cut that tree down. <laughs> uh, no. No, come on. Get off there. Get off there. Get off there. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're fishing. I don't think that anyone owns this stretch. So I'm going to inquire and see if I can have my own angling club. No members, private fishing. Here's a question for you all. I've got a couple of bags of gravel. Do you think it would help me to gravel the bottom? A couple of clear spots, you know, because if, if it is useful, I can get my waders on and I can go swimming. It's like, a, this is gonna be like a crash course in fishery management, this is. I, I manage to stretch now. You fish my stretch? Oh, Roger. I should put signs up anyway. I shouldn't own the stretch. I should just put signs up saying private fishing. Get out now. After I've found some fish and caught them, I'm then gonna throw in some dead baits and film them and see if there's a pike around. <sighs> Right, I'm gonna throw some bait in and I'm gonna leave it a few hours and come back and then see if we can get one. That's the plan. Let's throw some maggots in as well, why not? Oh yeah, it's all right, yeah. Just, just help yourself to that. Come back in three hours, yeah. After the swans eat it all. Just help yourself to that grain bait. So swans are the queen's property, aren't they? Or the king's now, I guess. 
So you can't do anything to swans, can you? So I couldn't go and get a shotgun and do that. I'm just, just wondering. Couldn't do that, no. Because I would ping that one. I could get a catapult though, couldn't I? And hit it with friendliness. Look at them. Great, still there. Still there, eating the ground bait. I'm gonna have to like bait up at night or something, but I reckon the swans will still be on it then. Do swans sleep? If anything though, the swans maybe will be clearing it up a little, even a little bit more. I don't know, I'm trying to make, yeah, whatever. <sighs> Just a fish on the first sesh. Come on. Any type of fish. Oh, still weed down there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting weed on like every cast, so I need to be more thorough with the raking. I thought I did a good good job, but uh, no, I didn't. I need to come up with some sort of baiting regime. Uh, that involves killing the swan. I mean, uh, avoiding the swans. But here we are. We're on the garden peg. We're living the dream. Blanking. Now I can blank at home. Fantastic. Brilliant. Get in the comments, guys. What do you think I should do with this section? What should I do with it? It needs to do something. It's, uh, it's a bit rocky. Also, should I put gravel on the bottom? What bait? What cheaper bait? can I buy to keep throwing in? Because uh, 975 mainline, it might be good, but it breaks the bank, you know what I mean? Fishing in my garden. <laughs> Can't believe I blanked on my first sesh. A lot of work to do. Swans. Swans. Oh yeah, that's it mate, yeah, sound. Oh yeah. Help yourself to that, lads. Don't worry, I'll be back in a little while and I'll throw some more in for you. 